On the 16th of October 2007, the Minister for the Environment and Tourism from Namibia and the Deputy Minister of Environmental Affairs and Tourism opened the Sendlings Drift Tourist Access Facility. At Sendlings Drift, the mines in the area have all made a significant contribution to the local Transfrontier initiative. Scorpion Zinc, Namdeb and Rosh Pinar Zinc sponsored the Namibian Immigration Facility, which was constructed by Peace Parks Foundation. Last photo, the last chance for photo, guys. All right, all right. On the South African side, the immigration facility was constructed thanks to the Richtersfeld community, Transhex Diamond Corporation and Sand Parks. The long-awaited pontoon on the Orange River at Sendlings Drift has led to this town being transformed into a tourism node for the Transfrontier Park. Scorpion Zinc refurbished the pontoon, which had been donated to the Transfrontier Park's Joint Management Board by Rosh Pinar Zinc. We are going to the Northern Cape side now, so we are crossing over. Yes, how can we go without for the first time in many years, not only tourists but also the local communities now have the means to cross the Orange River in this area. It is indeed with great pleasure that I stand before you today as we mark the occasion of the opening of the Tourist Access Facility of the pontoon here at Sendlings Drift. This pontoon symbolizes joint approaches to tourism and conservation across our shared borders of Namibia and South Africa. We are gathered here today to witness this official opening of a yet another critical connection of our two nations, which is a landmark of the friendship and cooperation between the two countries, Namibia and South Africa. Today is the dream come true. Mm -hmm. We are all celebrating. Well, it was one of the first um, parks where a contract between a community and national parks, sand parks, um, brought about a huge conservation area. It was done a long time ago. And in those days it wasn't seen as that important, but today with land claims and communities' involvement in conservation, this is a pioneering project. And for us the opening of this border post is an immense occasion because for the 200 or so kilometers from Fjordsdrift to the sea, there is no way of crossing the Orange River. And this would suddenly produce a, a method or a place to cross over from south to north or the other way around. So I'm convinced this would really lead to quite a large increase in tourism, especially in the south, because the Fish River Canyon draws 40,000 visitors or so a year, whereas the Richtersfeld draws a much smaller number taking part in these 4 by 4 trails. So I'm convinced this would initiate a whole new era in conservation, but also in rural development and in tourism in this dry region of the country. <laughs> 